First, just put a shout out uh, to uh, www.pastorpaulgold.com on behalf of noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.pastorpaulgold.com. And you can call them this morning at 877 646 5347. Uh, the information that they want to share with you today is if you're trying to navigate to market um, turbulence, if you're trying to navigate through this tur a very weird time, why not set course to the Noble Gold Investment safe haven at www.pastorpaulgold.com. With global uncertainty looming, your savings and retirement plans are under siege. But there's one asset that stood the test of time gold. It is a biblical currency. Unlock the peace of mind that comes with owning gold and the ultimate safe haven it provides. And if precious metals are new to you, <clears throat> Noble Gold Investment will hold your hand through the whole process. They have a team of experts who will guide you every step of the way to safety. Thousands of investors have sheltered their retirement savings by going to www.pastorpaulgold.com. Don't leave yourself exposed to the markets right now. It's way too risky. But with gold at an all-time high, looking to climb further, this would be a perfect time. Matter of fact, over at Op uh, Noble Gold Investments, you can open an IRA or roll over that 401k, <clears throat> secure your future, and they will give you this three ounces of pure silver, uh, America silver, virtue coin for free so this is a, a good way to get off to a great start with a new year with www.pastorpaulgold.com again you can call them at 877-646-5347 and tell them that pastor paul sent you there well A senior NATO military official has issued a warning that civilians should brace themselves for a potential all-out war with Russia within the next two decades. While armed forces are prepared for the possibility of war, Admiral Rob Bauer emphasized on Thursday that private citizens must also be ready for a conflict that could necessitate significant lifestyle changes. Admiral Bauer stated that in the event of a war outbreak, a substantial mobilization of civilians would be required. He urged governments to establish systems to manage this mobilization, addressing reporters after a meeting of NATO defense chiefs in Brussels. Admiral Bauer, who is a Dutch naval officer serving as the chairman of NATO's military committee, commended Sweden for urging all of its citizens to prepare for war before officially joining the alliance. Sweden's recent announcement has prompted an increase in volunteers for the country's civil defense organization and a rise in sales of torches and battery-powered radios, Yahoo News reported. Notably, around 90,000 NATO troops will embark on the bloc's most extensive military exercise since the Cold War next week. The Steadfast Defender 2024 operation has significantly expanded in size since its announcement last year and is explicitly designed to ready the alliance for a potential Russian invasion. Britain has committed approximately 20,000 soldiers, along with tanks, artillery, and fighter jets, to participate in the drills occurring across Europe until May. Alec Baldwin has been formally accused of involuntary manslaughter as prosecutors renew their efforts to hold the actor responsible for the onset death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Initially charged in January 2023, Baldwin saw those charges dropped three months later. The defense raised concerns about the functionality of Baldwin's Colt 45 when it discharged. The incident occurred during a preparation for a scene with Baldwin at a ranch near Santa Fe, New Mexico in October of 2021. Baldwin consistently asserts that he did not initiate the firing of the gun. In the event of conviction, Baldwin could be sentenced to a maximum of 18 months in prison, Variety reported. Quote, we look forward to our day in court. 
said Baldwin's attorneys in a statement on Friday. According to a court filing obtained by the Daily Caller News Foundation on Friday, Nathan Wade, who is alleged to be Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis's lover and outside counsel, reportedly bought plane tickets in her name. The filing includes bank statements from Wade's wife, Jocelyn Wade, indicating purchases of tickets to Miami and San Francisco made in Willis's name. These statements corroborate earlier claims made in a motion filed last week by one of former President Donald Trump's co-defendants, asserting that Wade utilized funds from the, quote, lucrative contract approved by Willis to finance vacations for her. The motion alleged, quote, Willis and Wade have traveled personally together to such places as Napa Valley, California, Florida, and the Caribbean, and Wade has purchased tickets for both of them to travel on both the Norwegian and Royal Caribbean cruise lines. The statements presented in the filing from Friday also detail payments made for Royal Caribbean and Norwegian cruise lines, the Daily Caller reported. On November the 2nd, 2021, the day after commencing his contract with the district attorney, Wade initiated divorce proceedings with his wife. Allegations from his wife's previous filings suggested that he failed to disclose his earnings from the county to her while continuing to withdraw funds from her bank account. According to county data, Wade's firm has received payments totaling nearly $654,000 from the Fulton County District Attorney's Office since 2022.